It's amazing, amazing how fast this shade opens. It's such a popular feature now, but in the past those were so painfully slow. And it's also gonna just make a huge difference in blazing Florida sunlight. Yeah, no doubt. For you getting just all hanging out and entertaining. You're getting all the shade. Hi everyone, I'm Dan Harding, Editor-in-Chief of Power and Yacht, joined by new Senior Editor, Chris Dixon. Chris, welcome aboard, welcome to the team. Thanks so much, I'm really, really stoked. No, as are we, and, and welcome to the Cruisers 50 GLS. It's, uh, if you come to the Cruisers display at the Lauderdale Show, this one's gonna be hard to miss for many reasons. It's center stage, triple 600 outboards. This boat is an absolute beast, absolute spaceship. Lucky enough to see it when it was in mock-up in El Canto over a year ago, and uh, this boat definitely lives up to the hype. Take a closer look. Let's do it. All right. So, so the, huge, ahead, no, the huge, huge fold-down gunnels are definitely a trend we're seeing a lot of, but opens this boat unbelievably. I think it's 22 feet of beam, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, with, the, with these out, with those down, changes the boat completely, completely, and it's it's a super versatile space with this much deck space as well. We you know, really like a uh, super heavy duty Corian mm -hmm. sink, twin grill set up here um, with these hatches. The uh, tables come right out of these sliding mounts and either go where right in front of Dan right. or they go on either side of the lounge area and can be removed super easily. Yeah, it's a nice Very touch. Cool. That's some space, huh? Huge space down here. Now, this is what you get when you put three 600 power outboards on the back, mm -hmm. as opposed to having to cram an engine down in this space. Yeah. You have tons of room for your gen set. There's a Seakeeper 6 on here. The install of filtration units, hoses, wires, mm -hmm. it's all just super clean, super top notch, and will be a cinch for any mechanic to get their hands on and get to the parts that they need to in a heartbeat. No, you're right. Amazing access. And not too crazy heavy either. No, which is nice. All right. I said, Your was, favorite features, my you, favorite features. Yes, the, the phone charger. So uh, definitely a popular feature. Anyone who has kids, I'm sure Chris, your, uh, <laughs> no doubt. your, your clan will be happy to have their phones charging while the boat's underway. Right there, absolutely. How many can we fit here? 12, about, I don't know, eight, 10 phones? I think crossways, yep. No, exactly. Cru Cruisers definitely understands uh, what people need. And then the, the large cup holders, nice touch. And there's other just there's other just cool um, functional touches as well. We're not going to go into all the cabinets, but mm -hmm. for example, you know, there's a there's a really nice um, latching uh, yeah. slide out right here that that's just a super handy location. Well, otherwise this would have been wasted space a couple of years ago on most on most boats. So that's a good point. They said, uh, in. <laughs> yeah, dual, you got the dual fridges mm -hmm. and optional ice maker here. Should be a popular touch. Yeah, and, and that ice maker's in a super easy location as well. And um, tables fold out for the L-shaped settee. Mm -hmm. And it, it's, just, it's just a nicely outfitted boat. It's, it's kind of uh, cliche to say that uh, this could be probably the most coveted seat in the house here with the with the power seating. Also, very intuitive digital switching. It, it's really come a long way. It's first time on the boat, and you could really you play with that all day. We're expecting with the triple three hundred, uh, tri triple six hundred. Yeah. Quick math on that. Well, we should be seeing a top end in the low fifty knot range, which is it's just unbelievable. It really is. There's some other cool touches I thought, um, you know, here towards towards the front of the boat. One is uh, there's a really just just super intuitive magnetic foot platform down here right. um, that just so it's just super easy to deploy and and pull up and it's going to stay sturdy and out of the way. Among the 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 other features up here by the helm, we have a sliding mm -hmm. sunroof and then the front windshield, which is absolutely massive has this sliding window that goes out <clears throat> to the bow. And another little cool feature that I thought, it actually reminds me of you know, old cars, um, is a tiny vent window up here on the very forward part of the windshield that 
when you're underway, this would pull in a ton of air yeah. for ventilation. Um, it's, just a, it's just a neat, really thoughtful touch. Yeah, especially when you look at the size of all this glass, when this boat's closed up, I mean, you're gonna be, you're gonna be wanting that breeze. And, Absolutely. and you're exactly right, underway, it's just gonna suck fresh air in. That's a nice touch. And we were, so we were talking a little bit when we were in the accommodations below, it's a, uh, it's a two stateroom, could easily sleep four. You know, Cruiser's kind of billing this boat as, as like the ultimate day boat. And what's kind of amazing is, like we were talking about, one, one person's day boat is another man's liveaboard, right? I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> It is really nice yacht level finish, and it, it, it seems a waste to use this boat as a day boat, in my opinion. But uh, again, I'm yeah, maybe I think, not normal. I think you and I would happily throw the families and kids uh, in this and, and head out for a weekend or perhaps even longer. Oh, I, I, I no I, I'm that. feeling a story idea brewing. There that's uh, that's the kind of creativity we like, Chris. <laughs> Another nice bow lounge. Imagine sitting up here in comfort going to 50 knots. When I look <laughs> at the, the seat and, and the, the armrests, when you're at a boat at this kind of speed, you want a seat that really kind of hugs you. And I'm seeing that here. This would be, this would be a fun place to watch Bimini coming up over the horizon. Absolutely. Another story idea, see? There you the, go. The creativity is flowing here at the Fort Lauderdale Show. I think this is definitely a boat you can't miss at the Fort Lauderdale Show, but probably one that needs to be experienced on the water to be fully appreciated. That's next on our list. See if we yep. can get us out of this slip here. Stay tuned for the full story on the Cruisers 50 GLS and an upcoming issue of Power Motor Yacht or at pmymag.com. I bet, I bet we'd slide out of here. Oh, uh, dude, absolutely. Some power, huh? Yeah.